Hello Composers, Mike here and you are watching Studio Time with Mike and in this episode you will get to watch behind the scenes as I make some really amazing and workflow boosting updates in my master project template. So let's dive in right now. Watch behind the scenes as I compose music, record epic ideas, do sound design, play with new sounds and do all kinds of creative work in my studio. Welcome to Studio Time with Mike. All right, my friends, so my coffee is ready here and I've opened up my DAW where I will show you my master template with a twist because I have made some really cool changes and I will also add new changes today in this video showing you behind the scenes of a cool new idea I have and that I will try out to implement in this master template. So the first thing I want to say is that I have a concept which I call the mock-up composing method which means that I try to compose all my tracks uh, with a mock-up first meaning not going in and adding layers and layers of instruments but actually using the main elements of music, in my opinion at least. So I've tested and go gone back and forth with this and this is what I have now in my template. First, a track for the percussion, then for the melodic rhythms, so, uh, ostinatos, stabs and so on. Then a track for the bass, a track for the harmony, a track for the theme and then I found that I tend to forget if I don't have a group for what I call fills, uh, which are scale runs, short arpeggio runs, thrill, uh, trills, um, and stuff like that. Uh, because those minor small details really add to the overall picture and variation and dynamics to your composition. So let's take a listen first to this mock-up I created now. Awesome! So I'm really happy with the, the start of this track actually and uh, what I want to show you first is not only do I have these elements here, oh I also have another folder called FX where I will add things like risers, downers, uh, sound effect hits and stuff like that but I didn't include that in this mockup so far so uh, not only do I have these percussion, rhythm, bass, harmony, theme uh, and fills for the mock-up. You can also see that I have a color theme for it. So dark blue for the percussion, green for the melodic rhythms, red here for the bass, deep purple for the harmonic chords in this case, uh, theme always yellow. I don't know, I've always used for the leads really and mel melodies is yellow. And um, here I actually th have a harmony line of this melody and since that is almost the leading melody, it's just a harmony, I uh, tend to make it orange because it's pretty similar. So I have a color code system for this, meaning that I could actually use, for example, this color and if I add, let's say, a harmony line, uh, let's say I add it in here in the harmonic session on uh, segment on, for example, a piano or something, and double the melody there, I could just drag it here and keep the yellow color if I wanted to. But I like keeping things very structured like this. Also, another thing that you might notice, and this is a new thing, I just came up with this technique, and that is this harsh magenta color, which is right up here at the top right um, of the color spectrum in Logic. Um, I use that to mark basically a rapid change in the rhythm, something that is going to really shine through in the mix. So here, it, often on the rhythm basically, so here it is triplet notes, so I mark that, meaning that 
the triplets are here played in the percussion and in the melodic rhythm ostinatos and in the end here i also have triplets i, I believe so i mark that as well it, actually this is if i go in here and check i think these are not triplets are there yeah they are i have it on the wrong setting whoops sorry about that what am i doing not changing that i'm gonna change the grid again to 16. Um, and now if I go in and take a look here in the piano roll editor, you can see that they, it's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, let's move those to eight note triplets. So I think that's what I wanted because these are triplets. Yes. So I should color these as well to, voila, that magenta color. So basically if you listen to to this you will hear the rhythmic change. So basically I use the color here to mark where the triplets are, uh, which makes it easier for example if I want to mimic that rhythmic pattern, the triplet on uh, the melody notes or a harmony here or whatever chord uh, rhythm, um, then I can simply select this, open up that at, together with this and um, I will see it here in the piano roll. Uh, all right, so let's start exploring this new aspect in my master template, a new system that I came up with. And uh, I want to try out uh, because as you can see below these mixing groups, I actually have made folders. And my new idea is that I will use the main mixing group, the summing stack here, this is a mixing group, um, as basically the mock-up. So the mock-up is this track, this, 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 and this. And then I create more tracks in the folder below each main uh, mixing group. And then I have routed this, these individual tracks, to the mixing group. So basically this is the essential idea for the melody and then I spice it up with layers and details here in the theme folder and the same for the harmony I have the main harmony which is basically a full ensemble here and then I can arrange it for example for different uh, parts of the string ensemble so violins, violas, cellos and so on here in the harmony group uh, and that way I can compose fast but also get into more detail, go deeper when I want to. Now, apart from this folder below the mock-up uh, groups, I also have a, another new idea, which is I actually made a sound palette folder um, a week ago or so, which took me quite some time. These are basically groups within the sound palette groups uh, folder that have all the main instruments and sounds I use practically as a composer, at least 99% of the cases. So for example, a group called percussion, where I have bass drum, taikos, th these are like uh, the main orchestral uh, percussion instruments, then tuned percussion, mallets, different types, glockenspiel, tubular bells, and so on. Then group for the bass, which is sub-bass, electric bass, synth bass, keys bass, low strings, low brass, low winds, low pads. And this goes on with keys, pianos and electric keys, strings, brass, winds, plucks, synths, world instruments. I don't know what this is. It should be like, um, let's say that one. Uh, but the point here is that I was going to use this technique this is what I came up with a couple of weeks ago to basically use this as a overview of what kind do I, of sounds do I need when I build the sound palette for my composition. But that turned out to be what like one extra step um, that I felt now is quite unnecessary because what I want to do today here is to drag these um, instrument tracks which are empty tracks the the point is having an overview of what kind of sounds i have in the complete overall palette as a composer um and build my sound palette for each specific composition so i was going to drag and drop only having the track icon which you can see here and the name of the instrument so i get that for free and then i load up my library where i've also spent two full days of making 
a complete organized a personal instrument library with third-party instruments. So I can go into bass drum, then percussion, then bass drum. And right now I only have one bass drum from Damage, but I'm going to expand that library uh, later. So what I thought is, why why use this? I, I'd rather have these right here in the sub uh, in the folder below the mock-up mixing groups, the mock-up track. So this is the mock-up, which is the main a percussion basically, percussion idea. So in this case, it sounds like this. So only the, the main, meaning the low, the mid, the high, and the accents, and possibly a shimmer kind of thing, right symbol or something. And then I will add the complete, real, full arrangement of the percussion later. But what if I simply drag all of these different things right into each of these fo folders here. That's what I'm going to start now. So I can start by dragging all the percussion stuff, right? So, and up we go. How, how do I, can I do this faster in, in any way? Uh, probably easier if I zoom out like this. Now you probably can't even see anything, but uh, I actually dragged in, I zoom in a bit. So this is now the percussion. Wait a minute. It's going to is the name going to be like that now? Probably because I'm zoomed. Okay, so let's do it like that. So now I have the mock-up percussion track here, and then when I want to arrange the complete composition, I go into the percussion folder, where I have all these different kinds of percussion instruments preloaded with icon and track name. Then if I click on that, I want uh, I will go into the uh, library, and now this is the bonus tip which will work now for my super, super duper workflow method. So whenever I want to start this and create my sound palette, I have all these different parts. Then I simply choose which one of these instruments do I want? What? Do I need a bass drum? Well, right now I need to click on use the patches, then on percussion, and this is the library I created, then on bass drum, and then choose. But what if I do like this? I save this, and then I save it in my folder here, percussion, bass drum, bass drum, and then I call it bass drum empty. Empty. Like so. Just so that it is there in that subfolder. Look what happens. This is super cool. Now it's here. So, since it is now saved in the same folder as my categorization system for my sound library, now when I start a new composition, when I need a sound uh, a bass drum here, I just click the library. It's so it opens up and it goes automatically to the uh, subfolder here in the library. Look, 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 look! It goes into user patches, percussion, bass drum, and it's already there. This will be so much faster. So I will do this for every type of instrument that I have in here in my sound palette creation. So. This is now loaded. I will do this for Tycos now. So I will save that. Uh, let's see. Percussion. Tycos. Tycos. And then just add the words empty here in the box. And this way I also I get the I track icon and the naming for free. And also, not only that, but since I categorize these um, you will notice that I categorize these in like from low to high, like bass drum, tycos, timpani, those are the low drums, and going to the mids with toms and snares, then going to the mid highs with sticks, and then comes the high section with cymbals, gongs, shakers, metal hits, and wood hits. And I will probably add more percussion parts into this sound palette later, but I mean, are you starting to see the amazing workflow aspect of this? So the next one is timpani. Same thing, percussion. Let's see, I have timpani here. Just add that and then add the words empty in parentheses. I'm gonna actually copy copy that so I can do this for everything now. Now that is there. So whenever I want a, t uh, a timpani, I'm just, let's say I'm working in my composition here. Oh, I need to add a timpani here in the percussion. I click on the library. And by the way, for those of you who wonder what, what is this I click on over here, this is like a controller that you can map key commands to. Uh, so I have made custom key commands and mapped them to these keys. This is called 
Stream Deck by Elgato, uh, which is so amazing because it's so small, but it is like a hand wrist. So I have my pinky finger here on library. Click on library, it opens up. So I don't need to go always to... I have the most used custom key commands here on this, where I have my uh, rest. I will do a separate video on that, by the way. All right, so let's go to the toms next. As you can see, if if I haven't uh, saved anything, it's on the default, fold, default uh, main folder. So I need to save something. That's why I'm going to do this, like percussion, and then we go into toms, and then there I have a couple of ones. Toms, wait, wait. save that. Toms empty. Now I get there. Open up the library, and here I can choose. I don't want to empty toms. I want black toms, perhaps toms mallets from damage or drum fury. So every time I add a new library and save a new preset, it will end up here. In this case, if I save a new tom concert tom library or epic toms or whatever it will go right into there so i can uh, bring it up in my new composition and i know some of you like to have everything loaded but i don't because if i have my entire i mean every single instrument loaded that will take like five times more than i have ram like a, a memory in my computer and it will take forever to load. So I like this system much better for me personally, because I want to create a new sound palette for every composition that I start. Let's continue with the snares here. So we are percussion, snares, empty, save that. And let's try it out. Library, when I load it, it goes here. I have Rhapsody and Master Sessions for snares right now. Then go into sticks, which are all kinds of sticks stick hits and clicks and stuff like that i have a folder for that too i think let's see there sticks yep so we save that and uh, open it up and i get to sticks where i have action strikes i, I think that is like tiki taka as it's called in action strikes and then vital series sticks symbols um I think I'm going to add a couple of more symbols. I, I don't know if I am going to distinguish uh, between like symbols from a real acoustic drum kit or orchestral symbols. Probably need to do that, but I've not decided yet if I just stick everything in the symbols category here. As you can see, if I save that and then open it up like so, I have symbol from damage, drum fury. So this way, I can, for every new composition, choose, hmm, what kind of symbols do I need? I want Waves Factory suspended symbols. That's what I need. Uh, let me move this to the right so you can see. The, the, the main advantage is, as you can see, it, it opens up my user library, percussion, subfolder, symbols, and then goes in here. And next one for gongs. So let's see. I think I have a, a folder for that too. Gongs. Yep, there we have it, like so. And there I have just Saga, which is um, Red Room Audio, I think. Saga Trailer Percussion. I have so many libraries now. And we get to Shakers. Obviously, you need some Shakers often. And that I have here. And I have all kinds of Shakers, so not only tambourines, but I mean, these are... African Shakers from the Contact Library, Shimmer Shake Strike, which is a great library for... I mean, they have like 30 different Shakers in there. Metal Hits. Uh, I, I just label these wood hits and metal hits. There are many instruments that basically hitting a wooden blocks, it's called in the orchestra, and stuff like that. But I basically label them together as metal hits. I mean, there are ensembles with, with where each key is a different hit on any kind of metal uh, sound so in this case I have it also in percussion and then metal hits as you can see lots in damage Saga has like anvils uh, if you want that medieval blacksmith sound so let's see metal hits empty look at that now we have that and this is the final 
of the what I call true percussion sounds. Let's see if I have missed something. I think so, actually. But let's continue. Uh, what was it? Wood hits. Wait a minute. I don't have a folder for wood hits. I don't see one. Gongs, metal hits. Wood hits. I will create one now. This is my categorization after all. You get to create what categories and folders you want to. So that's all of the what I call true percussion, meaning uh, percussion that is meant to be like like a drum type percussion, basically, with no tonal center. Well, with the expe exception for timpani, which is actually a tuned percussion, but never mind that. What I call uh, real tuned percussion are things that you can play melodies on, basically. And that is coming next, if you check here, percussion, tuned percussion. So I have mallets, glockenspiel, tubulars, bells, bells, and crotales. I think I will actually... Uh, redo these because there are several types of mallets or perhaps I haven't decided yet I will put those at the bottom below the pure percussion probably and I always keep like an empty midi track here at the bottom if I want to add something unique so mallets I actually don't remember if I had these separated percussion uh, no I have it here as mallets so you, so you can see if I open this up now, I need some mallets, all right? What do you need, Mike? I'm talking to myself again. So I need marimba, perhaps, a xylophone or a vibraphone. I think those are the most common mallet-type instruments. Um, let's see, glockenspiel. So another uh, benefit of this is that for most of these, actually, at least in Logic, I don't know uh, if it's the same in every GAW, you can have this track icon. And I have uh, actually tried to make sure that all icons represent the true uh, instrument. So this is a snare drum, this is a tom, this is a timpani, these are sticks. In some cases, there are no like good, I mean, metal hits. I just took this, it looks like a metal rod or something. Uh, and so sometimes Logic doesn't provide a perfect uh, icon that you can use, but in most cases, cases you will get something. Like in this case, the glockenspiel here, let me find it first. No, not percussion kits. Where are we? Where are you? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I actually... Did I put that at under bells? I did. Hmm. Glockenspiel. 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 Should I should I separate those? I actually put all things that sound f to me at least like bells. So tubular bells, obviously, sound like bells. Music box, Glockenspiel, and even crotales, which are like tiny, small, symbol-like discs that you hit, uh, which to me sounds like bells. That's what I put them there. I, I think I will do that for now. Um, or I can always, let's see, if I go into that folder, Glockenspiel, what do I have me, more here? Tubular bells, and then obviously bells, like standard bells. And you see Crotalis, I just th took these symbols as icons here. Um, I'm thinking, should I, should I separate them or keep them in the bells category? Because then I will get like several empty here. What do you think, guys? Oh, you can't answer because it's not live. But anyway, for now, I think I just save it there. No, 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 that's wrong. That's wrong, that's wrong, I need to go into... By the way, you can look where I go now, so music, audio music apps, patches, instruments, this is the library. Uh, I made a mistake there because I didn't name it properly. What did I call it? Glockenspiel? No. Move to trash. I want to save it as Glockenspiel empty. Glockenspiel empty. Yeah, I will do that because then I will get the track icon. Yeah, that's... 
but man, what uh, what am I doing wrong? I, I didn't save it in the correct place now. Sorry guys, Glockenspiel, empty, in bells under percussion. Right? So now when I open it up, I will get here where I have a Glockenspiel. Yeah, I will put it in that category. It sounds so similar in the tone character. So percussion, bells, and what is this? Tubular bells, which looks like this, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Um, bells. I don't know if I have actually saved a bell. Like, no, I don't. I need some bells. Sleigh bells, bells. No, I need some, like this little hotel bell. Uh, bells, empty. So that is empty now. Crotalis, which is really, really amazing for that high end shimmer, by the way. Percussion, bells, Crotalis, empty. Uh, there. So now I think I have percussion. So now let, let me try out this now. So I have the main percussion here, right? And that is in the mock-up because I have these main tracks uh, uh, groups here or mixing groups with the mock-up for each main element of music. Percussion, rhythm, bass, harmony, theme and fills. Well, that's what I have now at least. And then effects. And then when I want to arrange the full track, I just go into the percussion here. I can I can use these as the arrangement. These, these are the main things, and then I can arrange it for the different instruments. And I can choose here, go to bass drum. I need a orchestral bass drum. Add it um, and try it out in the mix. Go to the next one. Do I need Tycos? Well, I go to the Tycos here. I think this will be an amazing concept uh, and workflow technique, actually. So I completed the percussion. What I don't have here is drums, basically. Um, I think I will have like a kit. So I, right now I have drum kit, as you can see here. I think I will include like a standard drum kit at the top in the percussion group. Whoops. Where did you go? Where did you go? Because that way I can have all drum kits, whether that is electronic, acoustic, rock kit, or orchestral drum kit. And then I will just call it drum kit, by the way. Um, and then I will save that. I think I have percussion, let's see, percussion kit drums. Yeah, I should actually move those out there because this is, um, these are like beats kit, drum kit, addictive drums true, EDM kit, and hybrid kit from Drum Lab. But I think uh, I want to move those other kits because I have great kits in damage. So let me go into here again music, audio music apps, patches, instrument, percussion, uh, percussion kits. These here from damage. Oh man, I'm gonna move those to. Sometimes Finder is Finder is probably the thing in, in, in Mac OS that I that I hate the most. It it just it's every time I open it up it seems to be a different size and and oh man. So I'm gonna move that into drums, I think. So I don't need this kit up here. That's better. So now in drums, alright, let's close that. Now I need a drum kit. Well Mike, what kind of drum kit do you need? Do you need a EDM beats type kit, a rock kit? I should probably rename that like acoustic kit, actually. Uh, can I rename here? Show available downloads, refresh library. No, I can't. All right, so I actually, I think I'm ready with the per total complete percussion palette because I don't need these. And the cool thing is, let me try this out now. I think that it will keep the name, or some kind, sometimes it doesn't, but it will it change the track icon? Because now, right now I have a acoustic drum kit. If I change to, let's say, RMX here, which is a beat style kit, what will happen? If I load that up now, I need a drum kit. All right, Mike? Yes! 
That's what I wanted. So now I get the drum, the icon I saved with that, um, which is like is, you know, the sampler drum kit. Let me go back to the empty. So I load the empty, and now it purchased the RAM, and now I get my RAM back here. All right. So that is. Let me open up that again. Close the percussion. I have all the drums. I can actually now delete these then. I can delete the percussion, I can delete the tune percussion. Let's move on with the bass. We need some bass. So, I mean, I don't know, but I, I feel that all of these, the sound palette, the main, the starting point, all the uh, essential sounds that I use in 99% of the cases. So for the bass, hey Mike, do you need a sub bass, electric bass, synth bass, keys bass, low strings? like double basses, low brass ensemble or tubas, low winds like contra bassoon or low pads. I distinguish, I make a difference between low pads and low uh, and synth bass. So I can now take these, load them in to the bass folder. Where's the bass folder? There you are. There you are, bass folder. So now I have them there. By the way, I have a cool thing. I have a guitar bass. I will show you that in another video. I found a cool pedal for it. Um, and let's see. I don't remember how I have this set up. So electric bass. If I go to bass here. Electric bass empty. Oh, I have this saved as copy paste. Electric bass empty. I would probably add on here because I see that I don't, I don't have the orchestral basses here. I want to have those in the bass category, the low strings and such. So the electric bass loads up there. The, let's see, synth bass, empty, loads up there. Keys basses, which are, I mean, I have these in, uh, what's the Keyscape library, or have a great Keys that are, I mean, rumbling deep basses. Keys bass. Low strings, of course. And and you see, this is a great thing. So I can instantly see this is an electric bass. This is a synth. This is keys, electric keys. Low, you see the double basses here. Um, and so on. So I have chosen that just to see. Did I save it? No, I didn't. I, I didn't save it. Why did I just save it? So the low strings in bass here. Low strings empty. I might separate those into different subfolders, by the way. I'm not sure right now, but I will keep those in the bass folder for now. Low brass. Oh, yeah. Low winds. So I will always need to do some recategorization and moving folders and subfolders and stuff. But this will be a great starting point. Because now, when I start a new track... Let's see, where's this? Oh, yeah. By the way, audio uh, tracks are not saved in the same location as MIDI tracks. I mean, with plugins. So if you have an audio track, it will be saved in user patches under audio. So I actually saved a clean crunch and a metal here and the guitar bass for um, the guitar input there. So that's the bass, so now if I want an electric bass, I just go here, open up the library, it will go into user patches, bass, and then I can see, oh, I need electric bass, just now, I just now have Modo, which is my favorite for electric bass, and also Omnisphere, which is actually Trillion that I run in Omnisphere, or the synth bass, it actually even selects it, I mean, th that is incredible, it didn't used to do this, this was introducing a recent update of Logic, by the way. As you can see, everything is loaded except low winds. I accidentally saved it there in the root. Bad. Bad. So there it is now, and that is low pads. So that's the base. Now I can delete the base, I think, here. Didn't I drag the sub base? Let's see. I missed the sub base. How can I miss the sub bass? That's like the most important bass of all bass, bass instruments. I mean, I use sub bass for all types of music I make. I, I always want, I, I, I miss it if I don't get that low 30 to 50 hertz low bass. 
That makes me sad. So I have it here in the base now. So, sub-base. Sub-base. I mean, this is the cool thing because as it auto-selects is here in... Well, I'm pointing to the screen, but anyway, here I can see right below it, sub-base legend, great uh, Moog type synthesizer, Omnisphere sub-base, retro synth, which is actually really good for low deep basses, a stock instrument in Logic. Another sub-base in Omnisphere, which is more plucky in character. So that's the bass. Um, let's see, I will delete this now. Now now it becomes more tricky because I think I think I will add the strings, the brass and the winds. Those are the core sections in an orchestra. I think I will add them in the harmony folder. And I think I'm going to keep the theme folder clean, basically, because I want to basically... The theme folder is the main aspect that defines the character and emotion, overall mood of the track, in my opinion, because the melodies, the riffs, the hooks, all the leading themes, what sounds and instruments you use there will define your track. So I think I'm going to just open up the harmony group here and then take all of these strings here. As you can see, I've already um, chosen track icons here, add them here into the harmony. So I will start with the strings. Is that empty now? Yes, it's empty. And then with the brass. You see, I've, I've already categorized the sound palette below here, but I, I'm merging this into my new master template concept. So below the strings, I get the these instruments the main brass instruments in an orchestra that is then for winds also here of course there are more wind woodwind instruments or winds instrument and brass instruments but these are the fundamentals in my opinion so i don't have for example a saxophone in here because it's not often used in orchestral music uh, i might add it actually and i don't have like different kind of world wind instruments like pan flutes and uh, ocarinas and whatever. I could add those too. I might actually do that later, but not today. So the winds are complete, the brass is complete, the keys... Hmm... Yep, I will add those too. So you can see, cinematic piano? If I want that really deep, rich piano, emotional pia piano, more intimate, pop rock piano, plays a more upright sound, that plunky, clunky, what it's, yeah, you know what I mean. The harpsichord, if I want that renaissance, old type music, electric pianos, electric organs, and church organs. I will add those actually below the woodwinds, I think. Like so. I'm not sure if I have all of those actually, but for now. Then for the plucks. Yeah. I don't even know what those are there for. Plucks. I'm not. Now I'm getting like, hmm, should I add those in. Probably in the rhythm actually. I forgot about that. So the pluck, pluck type instruments, if you pluck or strum something, to me that is a uh, rhythm. So I will add those in the rhythm subfolder. Oh, I managed to get it right straight away. Then I have synthesizers. And I have to think about, what is that? Is that an audio track? No, I just added for ambient effects. So I think uh, pulse synth, plug synth. Hmm, this is. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. Let's see, rhythm. I think I'm actually going to use the pulse, the plug, and the drive since in the rhythm category in my template here. 
So probably even up above because I use pulsings a lot. And then for what's that? Plux is complete. Ambience and pad, of course, is in the harmony folder. So I will actually add. Where did you go? Harmony. Harmony. Where are you? No, I missed it. No. Why? Should I add those? I I think I will add those. I might restructure these. I don't know if I'm going to have those. Yeah, I, I think I could have ambience and pads at the top. Because I use those often. And pads are similar to strings, so ambience as well, basically. Then I have another category I call dirty synth. Which I think is actually... I, I said I was going to keep this clean, but I think I will add it here. Because it's like a riff type thing. So, like that. So now, now the synth is complete here. Then the world instruments. I have world percussion. So add, I forgot about that, actually. World percussion. Whoa, lots of scrolling. Yeah, I need to close some folders. Man. Close the rhythm, close the harmony. Close the theme. Open up rhythm. Drag. Where did you go? World percussion. There you are. No! Of course, in, not in the rhythm, in the percussion folder. World percussion. Now I'm gonna put those like below wood hits here for now. And I think, uh, I don't know if I have, uh, let's see, ethnic. Yeah, I have it here. World percussion empty. Ah, oh, great. That's there. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what kind of instrument that is. I mean, look, look at this. What, what is this? It looks very, very, very weird to me. <laughs> uh, that's the percussion. Then I have world strings. Oh man, this is this is something I love. The sound of... Do you know any good world strings libraries? Like, not orchestral strings, but... Bowed strings. Like, I think... Is this an air who? Do you know... Uh, if anyone knows good libraries for those kinds of... Ethnic bowed strings instruments... Please let me know. I would love to have more of those. I don't have, like, anything right now. I'll put that in below... Probably... Below the main string section. No. No. Should I put it last? I will for now. No! I changed my mind. I do this a lot. Why? I'll put it below the string section like so. So now the harmony is there is complete. World winds. I forgot about that. I had that as well. This harmony folder is getting huge. I wonder if I can do subfolders within folders. Yeah, within folders. Because now I have the folder right below. I've put that under pickle of flute there. So now I want to close this. Close the harmony here. Now the world is complete. Then I have voice, which is choir. Solo, I will put probably actually in the theme here. So I changed my mind. I will not keep it totally clean. I'll put it there in the theme. So the choir is complete. Voice audio, do I have that already? Yes, I have that. So voice is complete. And then for the effects, uh, of course, I will put in the effects. So I will actually just drag and drop those. I think these are audio tracks. I will have to check. Sound palette. That is complete now. That is complete. Audio effects. Let me check. Uh, no, that is the only input. That is the only audio. I don't know why I did that like that. Then I will change it to like microphone so I know it's audio. Hmm. So this I need to... Let's see, what do I have in fills? I need to do things here too. I, I will complete this later because uh, that's a kind of a special category. But let's see for now, where was I? I was in the harmony category? No, of, co of course I was in the harmony 
folder because the base folder was finished, right? Yes, I think so. So the harmony here start with the ambience. I think that is in like effects. Let's see. Hmm. Orchestral effects? No. No. Pads, perhaps? Ambience. Here. Ambience. So you can see already I have like Droner, which is good for pads and stuff. I, I don't know why I separated ambience with pads. Probably because these are like more ambient pads that are not like often playing chords, but like a drone or something. Some of these are non-tonal as well. So let's use ambience empty there. Pads, obviously in the pads category here. There, where I have like alchemy, which is actually a great instrument for pads. Omnisphere is like the legend of pads. Oh, and then I have the legend here, which is a great synth. And I also have Forza and Novo because this, the designer's part, those are great for that too. String Ensemble. I know I separated in the strings category between... Hmm. I will actually... I need to check... I need to fix this. Uh, music. Audio music apps. Where was I? Patches, instruments. I need to fix in the strings here and add and like, let's do a zero for ensembles. Oh, yeah, like this. Ins I can't spell ensembles. And then let's see, is this? Yep. So I will drag those in ensembles. I will do it for the brass as well. Put it on zero ensembles. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm just pedantic like this because I want to have them separated not by alphabetical order but by range. So I have the tubas at the bottom, bass, trombones, trombones, horns and trumpets, and ensembles on top, like so. And then I will do it for the winds too. In I don't know why I have this. Oh. Okay, so I didn't use the same system there. I have low, uh, small letters here, but eh, anyway, the voice. Yep, so that's it. So now I have uh, ensemble strings here, solo strings on top, and then ensembles, and then I save, oops, whoops, almost made a mistake. Empty, so string ensemble there, empty. Double basses next, uh, strings, double basses. Empty there too. I mean, can you imagine how how fast your workflow will be if you use this technique? If uh, check this, you have this empty. Bring up the library. It will go straight into subfolder, 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 and then double basis, and I can pick and choose whatever flavor I need. All right. So next we have let's see we have string ensemble, double basis, and then we have cellos, and as you can see this was two days of work to make my own category system and subfolders of all the presets for the third-party libraries. So here I have a cello folder. Uh, let's see, why, why doesn't it... Oh, I lost it. Empty. Need to copy-paste that again, like so, and then save it in cello. So now when I need a cello, open up the library. Cellos. And here I have different versions from different libraries, Cinematic Strings 2, Novo, and so on. And then I have Violas in its own subfolder, Strings, Violas. As you can see, Ensembles, Double Basses, Cellos, Violas, Violins, and Solo Strings on top, because that's like a special category. So Violas, and then Violins. I hope this system, I will uh, actually like using it in practice, because I mean, this this took me quite a lot of work to do all this. Um, I imagine that it will actually work really good. Let's see, where am I? Violas empty, violins empty shouldn't be there. Mistake, and this is the bad part, I can't go to the folder from there, so... Music apps... I should probably make it like there. Uh, so I can delete those that I did 
wrong. Also, where was I have strings? Violas. Violin is not a viola, Mike. When are you going to learn? Put it on the other screen, so there. Uh, and then you see it here still, so you need to use the cogwheel and then refresh library. And now it's gone. So I need to save it under the strings. Violins. Here you have it, Mike. All right, so now violins. There we have it. And lots of different violins to choose from. Solo cello. I just got a new solo cello, actually. So I have the show solo I only have in one category. So solo cello there. You see, emotional cello and uh, swam. An emotional cello is, I mean, that was amazing. Uh, I have to tell you. So the solo strings here, then I have a solo violin. No, 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 Mike, what are you doing? Not you, new folder. Solo violin. I only added those because I hardly ever use solo violas and solo basses, to be honest. It's just a fact. If I, if I start using those more, I will add it here to my template, but the moment, no. All right, so finally, world strings uh which i actually don't have so i need to create a folder here let's call it five world strings at least i know that that is a category even though i don't have a library for it right now let's call it world strings empty so at least i have something in my world strings uh custom library which is an empty patch of world strings Right, so let's continue with brass. Um, the brass ensembles we have here. I actually have some different variations there, as you can see, if I open this up. I have Cine Brass Ensemble, uh, Patch, Forso, Symphony Essentials, and Symphobia. So a couple of variations there. And then I have Tubas here, which is the lowest brass instrument. Um, I think it's the same there, a couple of variations. Tubas, Cinebrass, Force of Sym Symphony Essentials. I don't remember, I think I should have sw uh, sample modeling in there, but... Hmm. I need to check if I forgot to add it. Let's see, bass trombones. Let's see, I actually... Let's see, why did I do it like this? I don't have... I just have trombones there, but I separated them. I actually will change that because it's basically just a variation of the same instrument. So let's put it up here again. Uh, why didn't I save it like so? And in the brass category, what do I have? I just have four set bass trombones and then trombones. If I drag that into trombones, Delete bass trombones. That's the, this is the sad part when you do it like I did because uh, now I need to change this to two, this to three, and this to four. All right, so that is done. I've moved that over there, and now let's try to add trombones again. Brass, like so. Updated trombones, and then it could be either a ordinary trombone or a bass trombone. What's next? Horns, uh, which I refer to as mainly French horns, but I will put every kind of uh, horn instrument in there. I think I, it's only French horns right now, to be honest. Um, I actually don't remember the names of other types of horn instruments, but there are variations. Euphonium, is that horns? I think so. Um, did I place it in the correct category? Horns, yep. Good. Then trumpets. Let's see, brass, trumpets, and here we have trumpets category, where I have like, here we get into sample modeling, three trumpets, nice. Um, solo horns, wait, wait a minute, I'm getting into solo, yeah, again, um, right now I want to have two types of solo, which is horn and trumpet, because uh, as with the string section where I use for solo either violin or cellos in most cases i will have this as a starting point for now so i will put that into brass and then solo brass so solo horn is here empty and then the solo trumpet and as you can see it's the correct icon for each of these which will automatically get me 
right icon here, so solo trumpet as well. I have a couple of different solos in there. Horn solo, bass, bass trombone solo. So I, I actually have that. Let's see, trumpet, trombone solo, tuba solo. Now that I see I have already added those, I, I think I will actually create uh, those as well. So let, let's see, if I double this up, so I have solo, I actually have solo tuba even. So solo tuba is this, solo tuba. And then I had solo horn and then solo trombone. Wait a minute. This is solo, solo trombone, trombone. I, at least with the bass trombone, it is a lower register than horns, but um, for ordinary, I'm not sure. I guess horns might... Trombones and ho or horns, which goes lower? <laughs> Can you tell me in the comments? Uh, let's see, the... I need to, I need to learn. I, I should probably make a cheat sheet for this, like a quick guide for all the registers of all orchestral instruments. Uh, if you would like that, like that, so... Perhaps you, I can create it and add it on my website so you can all see it and try to remember because since I never did like music for a real orchestra, I've never actually learned the registers for each instrument. But I think that could be really important to learn. So let's see, solo... Where are we? Solo... Solo horn, this is... This is this is now wrong, so wait a minute, I, I need to check this. What did I do? Solo brass, solo tuba, save that. So now that is solo tuba. That is solo trombone, I need to add that too. Into brass, solo brass, solo trombone. Let's see. So I have solo tuba, yep, solo trombone, there. Hmm. I see now that I have put this like a different order here. So trombone solo instead of man, I need to check that later. Solo horn is there and solo trumpet. Let's see. So I have all the solos for the main orchestral brass. Solo tuba that is directly there. Trombone there, horn there and solo trumpet there. Right, and then we get to the uh, wind section. So, what was this, by the way? This was winds ensemble. Um, I rarely use ensembles for winds, to be honest. I, 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 in fact, I mostly use. But when it comes to wind, wind, woodwinds, and wind instruments, I tend to like solo uh, instruments, to be honest. So, winds ensembles, or is there now? But it's good to have them at least. And then winds, and then I have contrabassoon, bassoon. Ah, uh, here I actually divided these into contrabassoon, bassoon, bass clarinet, and clarinet, because it's a really wide register. And I also I have several variations of them. So right now that makes sense. By the way, what did I add? Contrabassoon. Uh, wind contrabassoon. Yes, add that. It's the lowest wind instrument, of course, again, the correct icon here, the correct naming, and the correct ordering of the instruments. So this, I think this template will be amazing for me, for my workflow at least. So, let's see, bassoon empty, clarinet, let's see, wait a minute, was that bass clarinet or clarinet? Ah, here I haven't divided it. I should do it. Actually, I do it like this. Bass, clarinet. Did I do that with flute? I need to check that. So bass, clarinet. I have the same icon here. Bass, clarinet. Empty. And then I have clarinet. I think it could be wise to do this. I should probably go back to the brass and make that con distinction between bass, trombone and trombone, to be honest. Now that I think about it. And then we have ordinary clarinet. It's just that I don't think I have, like, more than one bass trombone. But I will probably expand the li my library 
libraries in the future, so it makes sense. Obo here, and I put English horn in Obo because it's, uh, yeah, to me, I use it in the same sense, basically. And then for flute, I haven't divided. Should I divide bass flute into flute? I don't need to decide that now, just add the flute there, and then the piccolo I have as its own is the highest. I think the, the piccolo is the highest um, melodic instrument in the orchestra, to be honest. It's the small, tiny flute that can go, I don't know, up to the sixth octave or something, or even higher. don't remember. Piccolo, and then whirlwinds, and I... Whirlwinds! Whirlwinds! I don't think I have that right now, so I will add it here at number eight, world winds. So that can be ocarina or whatever, something like that. Let's see, let's see, where are we? Where are the winds? And then we go to the keys aspect, which I have an entire section for. And as you can see, right now, I actually only added pianos here, but this will remind me to add um, at electric pianos and stuff, I think. Organs. I should. I will probably make subfolders. You know what? I'm actually going to do that right now. Again, we're here. Now I actually have this open, so I will go into keys and then use like. So I have pianos. So I have all pianos because these are all pianos, and then electric keys. I will put that in there. So I will... Pianos is probably number one, by the way, and then electric keys, number two, and then what What else did I have here? Like... So electric piano and organ, or electric keys, in my opinion, and then or, or church organs. Let's see, I have harpsichord here. Don't I have harpsichord? Or did I put that? Yeah, I have it there too. I might put that at in under the piano category. I'm not sure right now, but um, church organs. I need to I need to decide if I'm going to use the capital letter system for the subfolders too. But anyway, uh, we'll start here with the cinematic piano. So whenever I need a cinematic piano, going to keys, piano, cinematic piano, empty. Do I, I just divide this into cinematic pianos, emotional pianos with more, more with the warm and intimate character, and then the pop rock is the upright in your face kind of piano. Basically three types of piano sounds, which are the main types in my opinion. So the emotional piano, pop rock piano. Those are there, and pop rock piano, in most cases it's... Um, that upright sound. Harpsichord? I, I, I don't know if they have a correct... I don't... No, there is no harpsichord. That's why I used like this upright piano uh, icon here. But... For now, I, I will put that under piano, I think, because I rarely use it anyway. And it's basically a type of spike piano, I think some people call it, call it because it's has spikes or something instead of hammers, like a felted hammers, like a real piano, a standard piano. Electric keys, and we go into here, electric piano, and then electric organ. So those uh, electric keys could be like the Wurlitzers, how do you pronounce that? And uh, Rhodes and stuff like that. Church organ. I think I only have like one. I haven't added it yet here. So now that is complete. What was what was this last track in here? It's like I added. Let's see what it is. I added this as string ensemble violins just to have a harmonic line. I will I will actually delete that for now in the mockup. I think. Just to have this clean, as clean as possible. So the harmony folder is complete. Now we get into the theme folder. Where right now, I, will, I think I will use at the top. I will have the audio tracks, which is guitar or voice, if I 
hum something in or for mock-up reasons. I will perhaps I even try to do add-on layer on choirs. Then I have a Harmon line here. I already added something, a dirty dirty synth. I don't even remember where I saved those. Do I have those here? Synths. Synths dirty. I do. Alright. Empty. Synth brass. I I think I will actually just call I think I will call it theme synth like so because that could be brass could be dirty anything playing the theme hmm hormone line I have male solo vocal that I want to include in voice male solo vocal female solo vocal where's the choirs did I forget the standard choirs I think those should be in the harmonies let me go back to the harmony folder where are you choirs I think I lost the choir I I I killed the choir oh man my mistake my bad don't kill your choir that's the golden rule for composers. Huh. So I need to do it like this. I just duplicate that, change the track icon to that, and then do choir. And then add that to the harmony here. And I will put that... <coughs> Sorry. Actually put that below... See, press... Winds, just below winds, I no keys. Ah, it could be on the bottom there, I guess. I oh, I forgot to save it. So this is going into voice, there, choir, empty. And you see, I have lots of different choirs. I even have boys choir here. Female, male, vowels, mixed. Um, and the solo vocals there, which I should probably put in the subfolder, to be honest. But I was being lazy then when I created that. So now that's the harmony, I think. Yeah, harmony is complete. The theme, let's see, this is the mock up, often like piano and strings for the theme. And then the theme folder, audio for voice, audio for guitar, already pre routed to input one, input two, which is the guitar input. This is just a harmony line for, the, in, for this mock up. And I have the theme synth here. Let's see. Let me think. Male solo vocal. Male, female solo vocal. Might put those in the... I think I'm actually going to put those even though they are like leads. But I mean they don't sing these choirs or solo vocal libraries. So I'll put those in the end here in the harmony folder. Wait, wait a minute. Where are we? Right below the choir there even though there are solo voices. So that's the harmony aspect. So right now I have I'll put that there. So I have like either a voice, guitar or theme synth, and then whatever I add. Then we get into this fun section called fills, where I put like runs and arps. I, I, I think I already have that preloaded. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Should I put like string ops? I'm thinking here. I should probably do like this. Actually, create a new track. Whoops. Runs. I will do. <coughs> My voice is starting to suffer. But I will probably do it like this. So I will, of course, delete this. So it's nothing here. Oh, by the way, I forgot if. I forgot if it saves the volume on the channel. That's bad if I save that, but yeah, uh, well, what's done is done. String runs. So I will have that as string runs empty. It, it, it Because this is a good way to see what's available. And then we will have wind, winds runs. I'll call it that. Winds, like flutes here. And then I will save that as well. Under... Wait. 
Wait a minute, where did I save this? Oh man, that's wrong. I want to put it here. Runs and ops. String runs. There. Winds runs. Where are you? FX runs and ops. Oh man, I have I have lots to do with the with the effect section to be honest. Uh, I don't I don't think I will be able to do that in this video because I need to take a break after I've completed the fills here. But um, and I will put this at the top because this is a great plugin called Orchestral Palette Orchestral String Runs and ARPs, which is a great way to use as a, like a, a scale run or arpeggio um, creator designer, and then because you can drag and drop these different variations into other instruments. Then I have harp arpeggios. So I will actually I will actually just add these because harp arpeggios. Or I will just use plaque arpeggios because it could be like pizzicato as uh, strings as well. Pluck arpeggios, I think I will call it that. And then put that under the same, I think, I don't have, yeah, I have arpeggios here. Pluck arpeggios, let's use that. Or should I use it in the, because these are pre-made. I, I need to think about this. Where did I put harps? I put it on the fills. Should probably put harps under harmony, under the strings. Actually, I will do that. Harps, harp, harp, and then drag that to under. Let's see. Probably right under the strings. I will. I will think about this. Harps. Where do I have it in my category system? I need to bring this up again. Oh no, it's back here. Patches, instruments. Where 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 have I categorized harps? In strings? No. It might be in might be no, it's not percussion. It's in Ah, it's in plucks. Okay. I see. I see. Where which I don't have like Flux. Let me think. I think I could have that in like the rhythm section. I already do. Didn't I complete the rhythm section? I forgot. Oh man. So what do we have here? Pulse synth. So we have that in pulses. Pulse synth. Yep. Plug synth. In the plux category. Of course. Uh, and as you can see, lots of pizzicato things here. Which I could use. Um, yeah, I need to think. Yeah, I have pizzicato strings there. Okay, it's okay. No worries. And then I think I'm going to go with dry... Do I have drive synth there? No, I think I have that at... Where do I have that kind of, like, the 303 type synth, drive synth? I'll probably put it here, actually. Drive synth, to be honest. Uh, uh, let me just think, what do I have here? Do I have any synth in the drive subfolder? No, I haven't actually used any synth here, so... Hmm... I should probably have all those things... But I have differentiated between pads, pulses, with the rhythmic synths here. Hmm. Rhythmic pulse, pulse synth, drive synth. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use that. It's like a pulse thing. Okay, here comes harp, which is under flux. You see, I have Elysium and Palette there. Then we have the pizzicato strings, which is under plugs as well. So, as you can see, great category system. 
once I once I get to use this. And acoustic guitar is under plaques as well. Electric guitar also under plaques. Even though you might strum these, I, I just categorize them under plaques, the guitars too. So that's the rhythm. What what did I do? The harp down in the fills category where I have string runs, woodwind runs. Um harp string runs would want harp arpeggios yeah I, I think i'm going to put it there as well and um, let's see i already have it like should i just use the harp here probably will because it's really no different but I have it here. No, where did I put it? Oh man, so much to remember. Rhythm, harp. No, not really. Not really. I want to, to remove it from rhythm and think about using harp, harps as fills mainly. So I will not even call it. I'm just going to call it that and resave it here under plaques, harp, empty, like so. So now that's there. If I load it up, it will go to plaques and harp, empty, all right? Then I have flute ornaments. Um, ornaments doesn't have to be flute, but I guess in this case it was like trills. I should probably do like a separate category for trills and tremolos and stuff like that. Um, that is like an effect, really, isn't it? Trills. What do you think? Trills and tremolos, orchestral effects. No, it's like it's like standard effect thing. So I'm going to. I'm probably going to make flute ornaments. What else ornaments do you do with flute? Orchestral ornaments. Should I call it just ornaments? Or <clears throat> should I make tr trills and tremolos its own thing? Oh, decisions, decisions. I need to fix this as well and remove it. What's temp? I need to remove that as well. Flutes, because I want to have this preloaded because string runs you use often, winds runs also often, harps and stuff of arpeggios, yep, often again. But uh, I'm just going to make sure these are empty. Oh man, this is not empty. All right, so I, that I need to re remake this because I just saved something with. It is included, so I need to go to plugs again and put it because it's go it's supposed to be an empty patch, like so. Like so. Yep. Right there we have it. So I have string runs, winds, harp, plugs, arpeggio. I think that will do. And then for this real track, I have these and flute ornaments. <clears throat> Trill. Wood. Or winds. Trills. I'm just going to call it that. Oh man, I need to make it. I need, let's, let's, let's do it like I'm du duplicating this. So I have string runs, winds runs. And then I'm going to use, I need to redo this, everything. I think it's easier to just create a new software track here. And then add it there so I can actually use winds, winds, trails. And then let's see, I'm just going to do that as well. So we call it strings, trails. As fills. Could be in the harmony aspect too, but I'm just going to use that for now. And then I'm going to do effects, call a new folder, and call it 
drills. And then let's see, what did I say? Strings, drills, is it empty? Yes, it is. It's already preloaded effects. Trills, string trills, empty. Then I need to make patches, of course, for this folder so I can load it up when I need trills effects. Uh, trills, winds, trills. Because most often you use strings or woodwinds for trills. So what else do you use as ornaments and fills? Runs and orbs, which are basically the same thing here. Either the scale or arpeggio chord pattern. Orbs you can use as the arpeggio kind of style. I think actually I will end it like so. So I have my entire system loaded up. The mock-up tracks where I compose my mock-up the main elements of music. Basically, I want my music to feel complete even just having one track. Well, I actually have subfolders, but one main track or group for percussion, rhythm, bass, harmony, theme, and fills, and might even add effects. And then I can now load up a drum kit, bass, drum, tycos, whatever, in all these subfolders below the main group to arrange everything into a complete and detailed composition. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something and got inspired and motivated to do things like this yourself in your templates, or if you use, like me, one single master template to start all your compositions in like this, then go ahead and take action and complete, uh, create things in your own way of working in your DAW. And I will see you in the next video. Subscribe now and watch a lot more videos on composing music, producing music, sound design, Logic Pro X and much more. I'll see you in the next video, my friends.